Hey yogis, I'm Chelsea and I'm here today to bring you a broken down version of how to create your own at-home strength-based yoga practice. I'll give you the one that I've created for my own self. For lower body and creating heat, it'll start to make your heart pump a little bit. <laughs> but really what I want to do is show you how I break it down. The warm-up, the build, allowing it to be slow. We're going to go into our sun A's and really start to heat things up and then go into a peak pose or a peak challenge which you'll see later and then end with the cool down so that you can have the tools to build your own practice at home. Let's begin. I'm going to begin here. The idea is that you give yourself simple instructions and you repeat it over and over so that the body can build up heat naturally and that you're not like breaking in too early. Let it be simple. Let it start slow. I'm going to give myself three cues. I'm going to say hinge to myself. I'm going to say pull and I'm going to say bow and you'll see what that looks like. Begin in a child's pose. Hands back by the feet. Allow your third eye to fall. You'll inhale, rise to the hips. First action is a hinge. Hinge back. Should feel the heat build. I'm gonna grab my thumbs and pull, 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 lengthen the side ribs. And then as slow as possible, I'm gonna bow down towards a child's pose. At the very last second, I'll wrap my arms and start at the beginning. Inhale to rise. Exhale. Slow. So you can do that as many times as you want to build the heat, but that's your warm up. Now I'm gonna take what I learned, those three cues of hinge, pull, and bow, and I'm gonna add a little bit of heat to it and come up into a crescent lunge. Down dog, right foot steps to right thumb, rise up into crescent lunge. First action, hinge. Second is to pull. And bow. I'm gonna add an easy twist. Open up your wings, reach for the sky, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg, step forward. Rise up, inhale. To the hips and hinge. Pull. Bow slow. And twist. Reach your hands away, feel your wingspan, and then downward facing dog. Let's just do that right side and left side. Focus on the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, bow and release into your twist. Let a sip of air fall in. And then down dog on the exhale. Left foot, inhale, exhale. Bow, open up in the twist, big breath in. Downward facing dog. So we do that build as many times as you need to, to feel that heat start to build coming towards a sunny. So I'll take you through a few rounds of sunny, but when I'm at home and I'm practicing, I like to spice it up a little bit. I like to add something new because it's just you, right? And you want to keep yourself interested. So I'm going to do down dog. You'll see that I'll turn my toes in and my heels out kind of like a wide first position and then bend the knees like a tiger ready to pounce, clap my feet together and get to the top. You'll see. Here we go. <laughs> Downward facing dog, toes out, heels in, bend the knees, look forward, give the feet a little clap, and then land right behind my wrist. Inhale, halfway lift. And a big sigh and bend the knees and melt over. Rise up and fold. Halfway. 
And then I like to clap on the way back too, just to keep it spicy. Clap on the way back, land in your chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And exhale. Downward facing dog, toes out, heels in. Two more times. Exhale, I'll completely bend the knees. Look forward, give yourself a little clap of the feet and then land the feet nice and slow. Halfway lift. Exhale, melt over the legs. Rise up and fold. Halfway to prepare. A little clap maybe on the way back. You go clap and land, chaturanga. And maybe when you get back in your down dog, since it's just you at home, you can give yourself a little shake, shake. Bend one knee, bend the other. And then inhale completely, exhale all the way to empty. And then float on empty. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale now. Exhale, fold. Rise up. Very well done, exhale. So now you're standing at the top of your mat. You should feel that the heat has been building in the body and maybe you're towards a peak, a peak pose or a peak challenge as I like to call it. And when I'm at home, I like to go from one posture to another posture and create a route there as slowly as possible, focusing on transition rather than each pose. What is it like in the in-between? because that's how you really build strength in the body. So I'm going to go from chair pose into warrior two and then back into chair pose. And I'll just see what comes. I'll take you through it, <laughs> okay? So feet are going to be together. If I'm going to land in a warrior two, I've got to start in a narrow stance. So I'm stepping back in a narrow way. So I'm in my chair pose. I'm going to reach up chair pose, pull down so I can feel the energy of my arms, like helping me move. Then I'm gonna open up the right leg, kick it straight back behind me, land the forearm on the thigh, and reach up for a low flying Ardha Chandrasana for three, two, and I'm gonna aim the foot right behind my tail so I can land in a warrior two. Now I have found my warrior two. How am I gonna get back to chair? I'm gonna open up into warrior one. Hold warrior one, all right, now I gotta get my feet up there. I'm gonna pull down using my arms again, lean forward and try to touch my knee to my elbow, and then close the gate and land right back into my chair. That's the way my body found. Let's take the other side. <laughs> chair pose, pull down, open up the left leg, kick it straight back behind, land my forearm on my thigh, hold here for three, two, one, land really soft, open up into warrior two. Now I gotta make it back into chair. I'm gonna turn my hips forward, warrior one. Pull down, and then lean up, grab elbow to knee, close the gate, and sit back down into chair. So that was my challenge. <laughs> so I've gone from a warm up, I've built up the heat, I've made my sunnies a little spicy so it keeps me interested and then i've completed a challenge for myself now i'm ready to do a cool down <clears throat> and i love to use props for a cool down so if you've got them use them i have two blocks set them up and do downward facing dog holding onto the blocks down dog breathe in breathe out I'm gonna step right foot forward, right behind the block, lower the left knee down. I'm gonna take the block that's in my left hand, and I'm gonna aim it for my thigh. So I'm gonna walk the knee back and the block up just so it creates like a, like a door stop there. I'm gonna grab onto my elbows. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three, hands to the earth. And I'm gonna take the block that's underneath and set it on its medium height and lay my thigh across the block. 
and then turn my front foot out like I did in that downward facing dog, claps. Turn the front foot out, <clears throat> and then walk my left hand to about like 11 o'clock. Keep on fingertips, or you can even lower down to the forearm. Point my elbow up towards the sky, reach up, elevate the shoulder, and then wrap it back and behind, and that's what's gonna allow me to really reach open through the side body. Breathe in. Breathe out. In. Out. One more. Exhale. And then curl back around. Bring your blocks back. And take downward facing dog on the blocks. Left foot steps forward. Lower down the right, take the block, aim it for the, side, the thigh. So notice I have to move the knee back so it's pushing forward. And then those two spots will be held in the center. And it's really allowing my psoas to have space. I grab onto my elbows, pull up and away, inhale. Exhale, hands down, set the block, that's medium height. Lay my thigh on top of it, and then turn the front foot out slightly. Walk the right hand to about three o'clock, and then you can stay on the fingertips, or it can be down on the elbow. Arm up, elevate the shoulder, wrap the shoulder back, and then cut the horizon to open up the chest. Breathe in, breathe out. onto your blocks and downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lower your knees down to the earth. And come into a child's pose. Lay your head down and bring your hands back by your feet. Come on up. I like to end my practice in the same way that I began because it's good to be able to watch and see how far you've come since the beginning of your practice. Now that you've set your intention and moved your body and you sweat a little bit, you're different. You should feel a little bit changed. And that's what we want. This practice was to give you the tools to be able to build your at-home strength-based yoga practice. I gave you some of my ideas, but I hope now you know how to warm up, you can create a build for yourself, do a sunny that feels spicy and good to you, and a peak pose or a peak challenge, and then finish it with a cool down. And if you have props, use them. Thanks for joining me. I'm Chelsea, I'll see ya. Namaste.